Hey Crypto Bros, hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. Today we're going to be talking about the three month quarterly chart for the price of Bitcoin. We're going to talk about the monthly chart because that has come to a closure as well too. We're going to talk about the Zen ecosystem, what you need to keep an eye on for the month of July. So let's go ahead and get started into the video guys. All right, we can see the three month uh, quarterly chart has come to a closure. And it's looking very, very bullish overall as we've been able to close above $30,000, which is from the previous candle as of uh, January, we can see here, which was sitting around uh, $28,000, $29,000. So Bitcoin is showing a lot of strength overall here. The bulls are still trying to maintain that $30,000 area. We can see on the stochastics, the previous two iterations, every time the, the, the EMAs have basically crossed to the upside, this has been very, very bullish overall for uh, the historic side of of Bitcoin. We can see the first occurrence actually occur around 2015, which brought us about 6,864%. The second occurrence basically happened around 1,300, uh, sorry, happened around uh, April, which brought in about 1,356%. So it seems like these gains are diminishing over time. However, if we can base our opinions off of these strategies, we, we will most likely be well off in terms of trying to capture some of those gains for the upside. So with that being said here, we do have a cross occur around the uh, this, this quarterly closure, which also spells very good for Bitcoins from the previous historical uh, iterations we've seen. Now, again, we've seen a Bitcoin come down around 23.43%, uh, which is very low levels of the so uh, stochastic. Here it came around 20, uh, which came around 19.74%. Here it came around 22. So these are very, very low stochastic levels, you know, bottoming out and then just basically getting the cross for uh, macro picture um, shifts. So with that being said, we are able to close above the 21 uh, day moving average on the quarterly, which is good. It hasn't happened in the history of uh, Bitcoin. We can see here this has been a very good support structure overall for the bulls, you know, come back, retest this particular 21 day moving average and then bouncing off of it. So this is the first time we've uh, we've actually closed below it and we've actually been able to maintain and close that quarterly above, which is good. It's showing a lot of strength in, in the price of Bitcoin and maybe washing some of those macro uh, macro uh, hodlers away from uh, from from their gains. So let's go ahead and, and talk about the uh, the monthly chart. We can see the reverse MACD actually starting to cross below the midline. If we can actually cross above the midline, this is good because this will spell very well for the bulls. It will be in the bullish territory for uh, for the price of Bitcoin. We can see this has never happened historically. We've never been uh, below uh, the midline and uh, we've never actually crossed uh, in, in particular for the EMAs. We've never crossed below uh, that um, that midline. So this is good. Uh, this is showing very, very, uh, very bullish momentum for the price of Bitcoin. We can see even here, we close above that particular wick of uh, Ju of May. So this is this spells very well for the month of uh, July going into August into the summer. So very bullish. Everything looks good. However, what I want to show you on the daily on the short term price action. We are making uh, lower highs on uh, the oscillator, so on the MACD, while on price action, you are putting higher highs. So if this actually reverses and this actually crosses to the downside, uh, which, which will start to happen around 27,827. If that's the case, guys, uh, then we are building actually regular bearish divergence on the price of Bitcoin on the daily. So what do we need to maintain to, um, you know, keep this $30,000 area and, and not come back down and try to consolidate in this region of $26,000 to $30,000 again? Well, we need to basically maintain $30,627. We're currently trading about, I would say, uh, $67 below that. So we're not far off. I think the, the bulls can try to maintain us above that particular area. I want to see again Bitcoin trade above thirty thousand six hundred dollars. This will give us a shift momentum to continue to the upside on the shorter time frames. Now, if we look on the five day, just following up on our previous strategy that we're discussing here, we can actually see here that we did get the cross that we were looking for. And on based on our previous iteration, the five iteration. If you haven't watched that previous video, guys. 
based on the strategy. I'll just go over it real quick. It basically has brought us about a 79% average gain, which with a 41 day on average to complete. Now, if we were to take that extrapolation based off of that, that would basically put us around $54,000 for the price of Bitcoin. Now, however, we need to uh, continue to maintain this strategy uh, if we close, uh, continue to close a five-day candle above $29,000. So it seems like everything is lining up around that $29,000, $30,000 area for us to continue that bigger macro picture. Now, basing off of that, the lowest side of the iteration was 32%. And if we actually were to go up 32% from here, that actually puts us around, guys, around $39,000, $40,000. So very, very close to those targets we've been discussing on our channel for the past, you know, few months here. So with that being said, again, we do have, again, the daily coming into effect. Hopefully, uh, we can maintain that $30,000 structure. Otherwise, we are starting to build that bearish divergence uh, going forward from here. Now let's go ahead and go and talk about the Zen ecosystem, guys. So there's a lot happening again, July 4th, again, the VP, uh, VMPX and X1. So if you want to participate basically in minting uh, VMPX on the Ethereum side, which will give you basically an allocation for the X1. So if you do want to participate into that, that's going to be happening on July 4th. Uh, so again, Jack is expecting to make a statement on the uh, Ethereum blockchain basically driving the gas fees up again and hopefully get some eyeballs to look into uh, zen again uh, we're continuing to see again the liquidity side of this again it continue to ho hover there's more supply essentially coming out uh, than there is the burning we're starting to see again the burning uh, occur a lot quicker which is good overall for the ecosystem uh, some people are having, again, uh, a short-term mindset with 91 to 180 days of the mints of the distributions occurring around that time frame. Uh, some people are going for 361 days. So not much change overall. We, we The only change that has occurred is uh, this particular timestamps. And again, um, you know, DB's NFTs are coming around uh, September, October-ish, I believe. So this is going to be good overall for uh, Zen ecosystem. So yeah, very bullish uh, what's happening uh, with the ecosystem itself. I'm continuing to mint. I'm continuing to burn. Um, yeah, so that's basically what's happening there. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, guys, go ahead and follow me on Twitter because I do pay, post my trading calls here. You can keep up to date on basically what I'm doing with my trades. So if you want to follow me there, and again, this is not financial advice, guys, but I do post here my trading calls and what I think is going to be happening short term to medium term. So if you do want to be informed in regards to that, I'll leave you off with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bros, as always, uh, stay profitable.